Absolutely. I think that every time we hold a boundary in our adult life to protect us, to support us, we're sending, we're, we're doing two things. One, we're sending a signal to all the little ones inside of us, the younger mm-hmm. ages that didn't get tended to very well. I've got you. I'm here. I, I'm going to keep you safe, right? Mm-hmm. So I think there's a profound reparative impact that can happen when we set uh, an empowered boundary as an adult. That's very much an active remothering work I have personally and professionally found. The other thing is too, every time, this is back to our initial conversation about neuroplasticity in the brain. Every time that you say or do something different in terms of showing up for yourself and setting a more functional whole sound boundary, you are helping create new neural pathways in your brain that are more functional and adaptive. So it it may feel awkward and forced at first to say to somebody, no, I'm not available for that conversation, or I'm going to remove myself now, or, you know, to do X, Y, and Z. It may feel awkward and and, uh, new because you are literally creating new neural pathways, new patterns of behavior, new self-talk, et cetera. Over time, the more you practice that, the more the neurons in your brain will fire, the more sort of entrenched and established that neural pathway will be, and it will ultimately feel easier. So again, it's both reparative remothering and it's literally rewiring your brain. How cool is that? So cool. So cool. What a beautiful.